Now tell me when somebody has got obstructive sleep apnea, I can see how they'd be so tired that they couldn't drive in anything, but it causes other problems. We call them comorbidities, other medical problems. What are they? Let's talk about them. The majority of the um, issues are around the heart and the brain. In other words, when you look at a patient with sleep apnea and you follow them along untreated for five, ten years, less of those patients are alive than people without sleep apnea. So life-threatening then? Life-threatening. So, so they looked backward uh -huh. and said, what happened to those people? Heart attacks, strokes, high blood pressure, diabetes. Those all, are the main drivers. All of those things because of obstructive sleep apnea. Absolutely. How can it cause high blood pressure? The same system that we all have built in that keeps us breathing is the same thing that leads to some of these comorbid conditions like you talked about. For, for instance, how does it do that? So when the airway closes yeah. and the patient stops breathing, and the oxygen starts to fall, yeah. and the alarm bells start to go off. And if you look at the amount of adrenaline coursing through your system over the course of that apnea, it's going up and up and up. It's like trying to wake you up, oh, so hitting you with, with bits of adrenaline. How long do people stay asleep when they've got that apnea, no breathing? How long does that last? It can vary. It's usually uh, periods of tens of seconds. So at least 10 seconds, sometimes uh, much longer. Um, and as soon as the brain wakes up, all that adrenaline hits the heart, causes the heart to speed up. High blood pressure, heart speeds up, irregular heart beats, heart attacks. Heart attacks. Why? Again, it's the excess or the extra demand that's put on the heart. In other words, the heart's waiting here to try to move oxygen across to the, the tissues of the body. And when the supply keeps going down and down and down, the work of the heart goes up and up and up. 